Well, uh, boy, feels different, uh, obviously, this year than it did last year. I thought uh, we came in here last year and they were really locked in, and uh, we knew that they were going to be uh, the same way this year. You know, you know, so much at stake as we head into the second half for the, the league, and so we definitely expected, uh, you know, their their best punch. And and I thought our guys were ready. You know, from the start of the game, you know, it wasn't a perfect first half, but I thought defensively we were really good in the first half. Obviously, to hold them to you know 31 in the first half was big, and then second half I just thought that uh, you know at some point uh, we had resolve. We just uh, you know we decided that uh, we were going to you know be tough, and in spite of all the adversity that was happening in the half, and, and uh, you know we were much more efficient offensively in the second half, but our defense was every bit as solid. How good is uh, Carly getting at like imposing himself on the game, like in terms of? Playing the pace that you wanted to play against them, and then like making big shots every time they try to get something going, and then I think he had almost like a triple double. Yeah, I haven't really looked at his numbers, but uh, you know we we obviously have a lot of confidence in in him with the ball in his hands. Um, you know he's uh, you know uh, one of the leading assist guys in the league. For us, he's our leading assist guy. So. He makes good decisions with the ball, and then he's he's pretty good at understanding when it's his time to you know make a play uh, for himself. And uh, but you know it comes from a you know his basketball IQ is tremendous. So obviously, anytime we can get the ball in his hands, we like it. Yeah, um, you guys gave up a pretty big lead against Campbell. How much was that discussed in the lead up to this game? You know, to to, to put them away when you had the shot. Yeah, we talked about finishing the game this time around. Obviously, we missed some free throws. We you know. It should have been a you know four or five possession game instead we end up losing by one so uh, we control that but we talk more about the other things during the course of the game that lead to the game being close in the first place and so I thought defensively we did a much better job of being consistent throughout the half and then consistent throughout the game defensively obviously uh, went through tremendous in transition I thought we did a pretty good job uh, uh, overall first half they got a few that they shouldn't have but uh, in the second half I thought we were much better. Uh, transition, especially after the first five minutes. Yeah, and you mentioned adversity. I'm going to assume you're talking about foul disparity in part. Um, That's part of it. I mean, obviously, our guys are in foul trouble, and we had to, you know, play with the lineups that we, yeah. you know, don't typically play with longer stretches. But I thought everybody who came off the bench did a great job. Um, you know, we're one of the leading teams in the league at not fouling. Uh, for us to have that many fouls was, you know, obviously disappointing uh, as a coach and as a team. And uh, you know, we're also uh, one of the leading teams at taking charges, and, and we just didn't get any, but we got a lot against us. So, uh, you know, you just have to deal with that. You know, I, I didn't think that. You know, Ed. Um, you know, he's he's a physical player. When he drives in there, a lot of times he gets to the foul, foul line. Today he got the foul called against him. So, you know, he was frustrated. So, you know, we just had to. I thought our guys did a good job. They did a much better job than I did at handling uh, the frustration uh, in the game. They they didn't show it, and uh, that's why they were able to win the game. You mentioned showing toughness and resolve with Travis and Don being in foul trouble. How big were Caleb's minutes? Caleb's that veteran guy who comes in and kind of balances you. Man, he uh, he made some big shots. Man, he made uh, threes. He drove to the basket. He got a three point play. Uh, I mean, he was he had some big minutes, and uh, you know he, he's a senior. He knows this is his last rodeo, and uh, so you know he he brings it every day, and he's a consistent guy in practice every day. So it's always good to see when he has success on the floor during the game. With a team like Winthrop, who so strongly emphasizes rebounding, when you look down, you see a 40 next to your, your team. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it's great, man. Uh, Carly got 10 big ones. Ed got nine big defensive rebounds. We didn't get a whole lot of offensive rebounds, but we limited them as much as we could to, to one shot. Uh, that's huge. You know, and, you know, when when they shoot those long threes, they bounce out of there, those guards run in there, and they got a few of them. And, but I didn't have to say anything. The guys talked to each other about it, and I thought they did a solid job as a team uh, keeping them off the glass. How big of a role did that kind of skirmish down the other end of the floor play? Because it seemed as though your team kind of rallied around each other after that that skirmish. Well, I, I thought that uh, it was big that Devin came to Caleb's rescue there. Uh, I, you know, I didn't necessarily agree with what happened. Um, you know, uh, Caleb's a pretty mild mannered guy, but I guess uh, the the young man got up under his skin, and so he he. Uh, did something, uh, you know, to protect himself, and then Devin came over and protected him. And anytime you see a teammate uh, look out for another, uh, you gotta applaud that, even though it, it resulted in a technical. And you know, we're we're you know a pretty tight team, and uh, you know, guys look out for each other, and, and they they look at each other as brothers. And anytime they can help each other, I think they try to do that.